and MSNL until a few years ago was a was an American firm with global offices. We had we had offices around the world, but we still were an American firm. Our culture was American. We were defined by by American values. MSNL is a different place now. It's truly a global firm with an American legacy and spirit. It's a place that, that, that still is being driven by what makes the United States a great place, entrepreneurship, creativity, but our, but our culture, our people, and uh, the way we interact around the world and the way we, we, we feel to each other is much more global than it ever was. The MSNL of today is a fusion of two firms, Selvage and Lee and Farley Manning Associates. James Selvage and Morris Lee both started in journalism. Selvage was a White House correspondent for the Associated Press and later an assistant to Herbert Hoover. He left journalism and served as public relations director of the National Association of Manufacturers. Lee, the son of a newspaper editor, wrote for the Philadelphia Public Ledger and later joined a public relations firm in New York. In a fortuitous move, Lee also joined the National Association of Manufacturers, where he met Selvage. In 1938, they formed Selvage and Lee, which specialized in public affairs and corporate financial industrial PR. The firm pioneered defense of management against raiders and played a critical role in preparing Americans for a modern lifestyle, including helping repeal taxes on margarine and popularizing the use of air conditioning. Farley Manning, also a former journalist, worked for a variety of local newspapers in New England before turning to a career in PR. In 1954, he started Farley Manning Associates, a firm with solid expertise in science, health, and consumer products. In 1972, Selvage and Lee merged with Farley Manning Associates to form the modern firm of Manning, Selvage and Lee. The 1970s was a decade of North American growth for MSNL. Its acquisition with Bell and Stanton, for example, doubled its presence in New York and gave it a strong offering in Atlanta as well. George Goodwin was managing director of Bell and Stanton's Atlanta office and later became managing director of MSNL Atlanta. And we started out with one or two or five people. And now you got 75 or 80 just in this Atlanta office. So that says something about the growth of the industry and something about the quality of the product that many Silver and Lee's been putting out. In 1980, under CEO Robert Schwartz, MSNL became a partner of Benton and Bowles Incorporated, one of the world's leading advertising agencies. The merger formed a communications agency with worldwide reach and impressive credentials. This kicked off a period of international expansion for the agency, which lasted well into the 1990s. In 1996, under CEO Kirk Stewart, the McManus Group was formed, and MSNL became a partner in an even larger global communications group. Three years later, the McManus Group announced its merger with the Leo Group, parent company for Leo Burnett Company Incorporated, based in Chicago. Become 3, the new holding company, quickly established a leadership position in the communications industry. I think, um, I think when you had an opportunity to talk about uh, the firm to other people, I think the thing that um, you spent most of the time talking about was the really good work we did for clients. I think that um, we spent an awful lot of time really focused on doing really good work for the clients that we had. Uh, and I think, actually, I think that's what drove a lot of the, the success of the, of the company when, when you and I were here was, was I think that uh, the level and quality of work that we were doing um, got noticed. Um, oh, not, not only by the clients we were working on who gave us more assignments, but I think got noticed within the industry. Um, and I, I think that was one of the, you know, was one of the one of the keys to the, the success of the firm. 
On September 25, 2002, under CEO Luke Capozzi, Paris-based Publicis Group completed the acquisition of BCom3 to create the world's fourth largest communications group. Its activities span 109 countries on six continents and include advertising, marketing services, media counsel and buying, media sales, and specialized communications. You know, we got a lot more global when, when we were working together and then subsequently. And so I, I used to use the a collaborative work environment as the reason why we could deliver the quality work. So I would say that line I said earlier, you know, at MSNL you can count on the support of the person in the office next door or across the ocean, as a vehicle for saying that that collaborative culture produces a better work product for clients. MSNL has continued to grow substantially in the 21st century, opening new offices and offering strong capabilities around the world. Today, MSNL is led by CEO Mark Haas and is one of the world's leading global PR firms. It has 46 offices throughout North America, Latin America, Europe, the Middle East, Africa, and the Asia Pacific region, as well as an extensive global affiliate network. The agency provides best-in-class services in consumer marketing and healthcare PR, corporate and technology communications. The firm has also emerged as an industry leader in digital communications. It's always been a unique agency. Uh, it's always been smaller than some of its largest competitors and it's forced uh, the agency to compete in a different way. And now as we um, compete at the top tier and, and we're an equal competitor in terms of size and capabilities with with firms that used to be two and three times bigger than, than we were. We've kept a lot of the unique uh, innovativeness, creativity, and entrepreneurship that has defined our past. Manning, Selvage, and Lee, a global firm with an American history and spirit. <laughs>